Hey guys, this is Chris from Record Talk uh, with another episode of You Need That Record. And so the record I'm going to feature this time is uh, Mud Honey, Every Good Boy Deserves Fudge, or uh, Esteemed Grunge Band Deserves Fame. So I'll, I'll stick a link for, there was actually an article on spin.com that came up, and you know, the EG, BDF, every good boy does fine, every good boy deserves fudge, esteemed grudge band deserves fame, that sort of thing. So this is uh, 1991, so 30th anniversary. Um, this came out on Sub Pop. Um, I, I got the CD back when this came out. Uh, they reissued a special double LP version this year on Sub Pop. Nice gatefold cover. Got the guys. Here's the back. Two discs because there is a bonus disc of material. And so we have this. The, the blue disc, this is uh, the actual album, the original tracks. And then there is also this bonus disc, a red disc with some outtakes and some demos and some alternate versions. You know the deal. I'm usually not into those, but Mud Honey is one of my favorite bands. And obviously, when there's an extra disc of something that's one of your favorite bands, it's an album you've listened to a lot, it's nice to hear different versions. Whereas if it's something I'm more casual, a band I'm more, band or artist I'm more casual about, I don't really need those extras. And so the original um, uh, track order, um, so this is just good grunge. Um, I never understood why Mud Honey didn't become a bigger band than they did. I mean, uh, if you go back to the mid 80s, sort of the proto grunge band Green River uh, featured a couple of members of Mud Honey, including Mark Arm and a couple of members of Pearl Jam. Uh, I believe it was Jeff Ament and Stone Gossard, if I remember right. I know it definitely wasn't Eddie Vedder or Mike McCready. Um, I know the Mud Honey guys kind of felt that the Pearl Jam guys were, were sort of a little bit too careerist. Um, of course, Pearl Jam's gone on to be Hall of Fame uh, sort of band. I'm wearing my Lightning Bolt shirt, so I'm rep repping both Pearl Jam and Mud Honey today. Um, and they're kind of um, in the in the legacy band rock pantheon where Mud Honey. Uh, I think these guys still work regular jobs. I know Mark Harm is actually like the manager of the uh, Sub Pop Warehouse. Uh, so Generation Genocide is an instrumental that starts it off. Let It Slide, just a great song. Into the Drink. Uh, I think the second side might even be better. Side B, Who You Driving Now, Shoot the Moon, Fuzz Gun 91, Check Out Time, the very last track. Um, and so, um, so I think this is, um, if you're a grunge fan, but you never listened to any Mud Honey, you should pick up some Mud Honey. Um, and when I bought this, I filled in some of the other holes in my Mud Honey collection. So at some point I am going to do a, a full scale ranking the albums, uh, with Mud Honey involved. And... Um, and I found that, um, some of the albums that I never picked up, um, I, I don't want to give away what I'll be talking about when I make that ranking show a month or two down the road. Um, uh, but there's going to be some surprises when you get later into the Mud Honey catalog. Um, they, it's not, it's, it's not an ACDC where they just keep making the same album over and over. I mean, there is that certain Mud Honey sound. Um, but they throw in, they throw, they, they throw in some, some new things later in their career. So Mud Honey, Every Good Boy Deserves Fudge, 30th Anniversary, recommended. 